I've assembled all the ingredients we're going to be using. Uh, these are our fats and oils. I have olive oil, canola oil, castor oil. We have coconut oil, coconut butter, and beeswax. These ingredients are going to be made. I'm going to be adding a little bit of extra apricot kernel oil, some buttermilk powder, and I've ground up some oatmeal in this coffee grinder. Very fine. Uh, it you can be used coarse too. So these are the ingredients we're going to include afterwards. I want to talk to you for a moment about safety. Lye is a very dangerous caustic substance and it should be handled with a great deal of care and respect. I'm going to be wearing goggles over my glasses today. They have side shields they are going to protect a part of my eyes. I have rubber, uh, rubber gloves. Latex gloves will also work. That will protect my hands and my uh, long sleeves will protect my arms. Uh, if I do get lye on my skin, um, I can use a little bit of vinegar to neutralize it and then immediately I will wash my hands with soap and water. Soap making is not something you want to do with young children and on the day that you make soap, you want to make sure that your children and your pets are away from the work area and keep them away until you've washed all of your pots and pans too because uh, they, will, they, they, will be, uh, they will burn your skin. Um, when I mix the lye and the distilled water. I'm going to do it in a container that I'm going to keep solely for this purpose. I'm not going to put this container back in my kitchen. Instead, I'm going to put it in my uh, soap making kit and it'll be available for next time.